Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial from me, Yoga Strix D. I'm gonna show you today how to correctly import and export light pedals and Vigo configurations with the newest update from Flashing Lights. Uh, it's a really simple update. Oh, that, that, that's actually kinda. <laughs> Uh, it's a really simple update, it's, it requires some information so you know, hey, what the hell am I doing? Uh, but it's in general really easy and really user friendly made. So first, we're gonna go into the vehicle selection menu and edit menu. Um, so this is a very simple import tutorial. Uh, I wanna start with importing, uh, it's really simple. What you can import, you can import everything that's on the vehicle. You can import the entirety of the vehicle or specific objects such as the light bar, the lights or the interior lights, uh, bumper lights, uh, side runners you can import, uh, yeah and that and all, all of that. <laughs> so you can import that. So first I'm going to do a simple import from a vehicle configuration. If you are a good model or the model has made the preset correctly like I did, you can kind of identify which is which. Um, so this is a vehicle config for the CVPI that I made, I'm going to use that and know that it has a different light bar right now. Let me show you. Different light bar right now. It's still CHP pedal. No, never mind, it's not. Uh, let me just import it. CVPI, and you hit load. You can't see the mouse on it, but hey, it's whatever we have. And there you go. That's how to import it. And it does everything, everything else for you. The uh, delivery, it will be even done. Uh, the lights you put here. Any auto lights and other auto settings that the creator has done on it. And that's simply how to import a view configuration. Let's say I want to import a light bar pattern. Then you have to actually go on the object you want to import or export. Uh, you need to go on it, you have two options here. So if you say, hey, this is a different light bar, you cannot import it on that light bar. Uh, it needs to be the, the export you make for that uh, specific item can only be used on that specific item and nothing else otherwise you'll get an error saying this is not the correct model uh, so that's that so to show you this is a different light bar it doesn't work but you get the correct light bar and like I said again if the model decided to correctly name everything you can kind of see which is which this is obviously light bar number one so let me load this and there you go CHP version very simple it works like this on almost everything uh, same with here this was also an import and export function and you can do the same with that and that's essentially how you do importing all right so we here are the exporting functions i want to export this vehicle let me just do a different light pattern let's make this really fast I can see everything, because my mic is in front of it. There you go, there you go, there you go. And then I'm gonna move this, move this, move this, add this, add this. Alright, so now we have a very simple uh, light pedal. And I wanna export it. And I wanna export the entire vehicle. So you just go ahead and go back to select vehicle. Then you can go export, name it, however you want. Uh, pattern one CPI would be handy if you say what file is what. I can also show you if everything was a little correctly. Uh, what how you can identify for what vehicle a certain file is in case the model did not, oh sorry, the creator did not uh, select which is which. So we save it, it will also be stored and then you can get it. So this is what I just saved. It says police car two and then one. One is delivery. Two is the car. Uh, Crown Vic is two, charges one, explodes three, and so on and so on. Um, I don't know the exact codes. Don't mess with these. Uh, like it says in the file, don't mess anything in this. But this is just how to identify which is which. Uh, same with the light, with the light panel. Oh, sorry, with the light bar itself. In the light bar itself, it also says what light bar it is. See, there's a light model. And this is for vehicle configuration. And the top is for emergency light setup. So you can kind of identify which is which. All right. So if you want to say, hey, I want to export only the light bar, and then you have to edit lights. You click edit, edit selected, 
and then you say export uh, pattern pattern one uh, light bar one this is there you go now you know which is which and now it will let's go ahead and mess this up a little bit to show you it's actually uh, exported so you see the light panel is a little bit messy so hey I wanna import it again uh, this one then hit node and there you go keep in mind you cannot do it on, on, a, on a other light bar if you save from the light bar uh, in the file itself oh I got a lot of messages in the light bar itself or in the text file itself it specifies for which model or car it is so you change that it's gonna break the entirety so don't change that uh, only export and import for the items you made it for. Um, there's going to be another way to manually text file it and copy and paste it on other library, but that's not possible. It's too hard. Um, so that's that. Really simple and really easy. Uh, so that's really all. That's all of the uh, flashing lights customization, light customization uh, explanations that we needed and we asked for so that's that this video really quickly uh, shows you so if you have any people saying like hey how I do how do I import or export it you can link to this video or to another tutorial we have it is um, and further I would say you know happy lighting have fun making your lights patterns and all that stuff sharing it with your friends feel free to share it on Apple Mods too we have a nice section there too alright uh, so if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and also subscribe because I'm trying to reach a thousand subs so make sure you subscribe and further, I would say, if you have any uh, any uh, any questions or anything like that, ask in the effort Discord, not in the comments, because I can't answer all the questions. Uh, further, if you do have any other comments, feel free to leave them. I, I, I don't mind. Uh, the effort Discord, the Fleshnet's official Discord, is linked in the description. And make sure to join. All right. So that's all I need to say. Uh, further, I would say, have a nice day and enjoy Fleshnet.